Welcome to First Word Farmers News Roundup for November the 18th, brought to you today by Senior Editor Matt Dennis. In our top news story, the FDA issued a complete response letter regarding Spectrum Pharmaceuticals filing for the bladder cancer therapy Capzola. The company said that after talks with the agency, it is considering a new smaller study that would replace the ongoing Phase 3 program for the drug. Also in the news, GlaxoSmithKline named Thomas Williamson as General Manager for Pharmaceuticals and Vaccines in China. Williamson will replace Herve Gissero, who will become Head of Pharmaceuticals for the Asia-Pacific region. In other news, Johnson & Johnson submitted a filing to the FDA seeking approval of guselcumab for the treatment of patients with moderate to severe plaque psoriasis. Study data have shown that the anti-IL-23 monoclonal antibody is superior to Abvi's Humira in the treatment of the condition. And finally, Gilead Sciences terminated a collaboration and license agreement with Globamune, returning rights to the experimental hepatitis B drug GS4774. Globamune's CEO and President Timothy Rodell also resigned from his positions. To read these and other stories in full, visit firstwordpharma.com. Are you able to keep up with all the news and views in the biosimilars market? First Word's Biosimilar Index is the only dedicated biosimilar and non-comparable biologics intelligence tool available. Get ahead of your competition and learn more today. 